Today's video is brought to you by Big J's Fart Spray. The logger's choice. <laughs> Where are you going, pup? Where are you going? Hey. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I know. It's cold out. <laughs> hey folks, Logger John here. And it's Sunday, April the 10th. And uh, it's cold out. It was, uh, there was a few snow flurries there about a half an hour ago. Temperature, I think, is about uh, maybe plus one right now, and I'm just out for a stroll around the yard here on a Sunday morning. This is probably be the first uh, video in a long time that hasn't involved any wood cutting. I'm just down here in the wood yard. So yesterday, uh, yesterday actually was pretty nice out. Sun was out most of the day. As you can see, I got all the wood stacked up. I finished uh, stacking it yesterday. Uh, we're supposed to get some showers maybe, but uh, like I said, this morning it was snowing. I guess there's crazy weather all over the country. Spring just doesn't want to come, I guess. I don't know what's going on, but. So, lots of wood. I ended up with uh, 15 full cubic cord. and two face cord. So I got 15 full cord and two face cord. There's one face cord there. And there's another face cord down here. There's always a couple people that just want to buy a couple face cords, so. But the rest uh, I sell as a full cord. So there's three cord there, three full cord, and there's two full cord there, and then of course we the face cord that I just showed you, and then another full cord there. And then the face cord there. And then we have three full cord there. One full cord right here in this pile. And then we have two full cord there. And then over here, we have three more cord. So it's really nice to get it all stacked up. And as you can see, my next project is cleaning up the Cleaning up all the sawdust in the mess here. There's a quite a bit of raking to do. I'm going to do uh, as much as I can with the rake, like east, like even around the wood piles and stuff. And then I might try taking my tractor and blade and. Uh, try to clean as much as I can up with put it all in one big pile with the blade maybe as you can see it's like places there's a couple inches of sawdust here in places so it's just been really wet here you can see it right here it's still a little bit wet 
Believe it or not, I cut grass here in the summertime. This is all lawn. <laughs> so, it's hard to believe right now by looking at it, but. And of course I have all my wood for myself. This is my own personal wood that I use. A lot of alum right there, some pine. And then this is for leftover from last year. This will be the first stuff I put in the woodshed, this pile here, this fall. There's my dog following me around. And then I have these blocks to split sometime. There's a lot of <clears throat> a lot of bark and sawdust up there too. Probably a good day of raking to do. This is another project right here I gotta do sometime. I'm gonna scrap this old trailer. I'm gonna take it to the uh, take it to the junkyard, but I'm gonna strip it off, strip whatever I can off it that's any good. Got a good jack. And uh, unfortunately it's got one good brand new tire on it that I put on it the last time I used it. But uh, I mean it looks pretty solid when you just look at it, but it's not. Can't really see, but the whole frame, underneath the whole frame, all the cross members, uh, where the springs, where the axle goes on is all rotted out. So... It's really unsafe to take on the road, but there is some good pieces on it, like there's these pieces I can take off. Uh, take all the wood off it, maybe. I've got some big heavy-duty steel plates here I'm going to try to get off, corner plates. But other than that, and plus the tire, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to throw away a brand new tire. I'm going to take it off and uh, take it over to the junkyard, I guess. I've hauled a lot of wood in that old trailer over the years. It was given to me, so can't really complain about the price. I've hauled a lot of wood in that trailer. But it, the last year I used it, it wasn't even safe to be in the highway. I was taking a chance, drawing wood with it. Just so rotten underneath. Not worth fixing. So that's another project I can work on. Dog, she's just... You know, you know what she's waiting for? She's waiting to go for a walk. Hey, are you waiting to go for a walk? Yeah, I know you're waiting for your Sunday walk. Yeah, we'll go in a little while, okay? I got this good trailer here that I bought a few years ago. It's a good heavy trailer. Um, I put these racks on it last fall when I was hauling firewood, delivering firewood. And I got it oil sprayed too the first year I got it. Neighbor, uh, he does oil spraying at his house and I got it all sprayed underneath. But you know what? I eat, You can see, look at, look at the rust. Little spots of rust. Even a little bit on the front and that. I even sanded it down the places and I primed it. And I painted it and it still rusted it. There's a little bit back here too. And it's never been driven on, uh, I never had it on the highway in the wintertime, in the slush. Only when it was dry out, I took it on the road delivering firewood. So I don't know. I mean, that was all sanded down and primed. Still rusting. I'm gonna have to paint it again this, this year sometime maybe. Touch it up. I don't know what the solution is. Anyways, I kind of built a little uh, a little uh, firewood garage here for my trailers. 
All it lacks is a roof. But it's good to get the wood piled up. I know a lot of guys don't pile their wood, they just leave it in a big pile and they sell it like that, but I happen to like piling wood. It's good therapy. Dave from uh, Polar Express, he has tractor therapy. I have wood piling therapy. <laughs> Just something about piling wood I like doing. And it makes it easy when you have really nice wood to pile. As you can see, all the pieces are all the same. It doesn't take me long to pile wood, pile a quart of wood. If you have good wood and the pile is right there, you don't have to pick through it and stuff. You can pile it up pretty fast. It's mostly ash. It's about 99% ash, I would say. It's a little bit of black cherry in that pile. And the pile up there behind my trailers, there's some black cherry and some ironwood in that. But for the most part, it's mostly ash. And another project I got to do is uh, take the chains off my tractor, the tire chains, chains, the ice chains, the snow chains, whatever you want to call them. Get in my tractor. It's kind of a tight fit in here. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see. It's kind of dark in here, but I got to get these guys off. I don't think I need them anymore. I still have my skidding blade on the back here. And there's my regular blade there. That's why the tractor's kind of tight fit in here if you have both have that blade on and that blade sitting there. So I'm gonna hook that blade. I don't think I'll be skidding any wood for a while. Like I said though, I do have a few more elms to bring out, but that won't be for a while. I'm going to get these off and clean them up and uh, maybe spray them with something, I guess, oil, and then hang them up somewhere on one of the walls here. Find a spot to hang them up, I think. You don't want them all rusty. I'm really happy with them though. They worked really well this winter. Really happy with them. They're expensive, but the only regret I have is not buying them years ago. But that's another project to do. And then I'm going to have to uh, get the snow tires changed on my wife's car over there pretty soon, like another week or two. As you can see, there's no snow here. It's completely gone. We got a lot of rain on uh, Thursday. And uh, got a little bit of rain on Friday. There's a little bit of snow back in the cedar bush there, I noticed yesterday. But for the most part, there's no snow anywhere. So I'm pretty sure I can take my tire chains off and the snow tires off. I got a bunch of raking here to do too, along the driveway from the winter. You plow in all the snow in the winter time, you get gravel and dirt on your sides of your lawn there. Just got to rake that up, clean that all up. Another project I'm going to start working on is uh, I got to cut some cedar pickets. For the fence, I'm going to build and finish that real fence at the end of my driveway down there. So I got to go cut about 50 or 60 cedar pickets and then uh, gather up some cedar rails around the place. There's a bunch of old uh, cedar fences all through the property that used to keep the cows in certain places, but we don't use them anymore, so I'm going to pick out some cedar pickets here, or cedar rails. So I can do that cedar fence. I might start doing that next weekend. 
next weekend is Easter weekend. Easter Good Friday and then uh, Easter Sunday and Monday. I hope it warms up though. It's been so cold. We've only had a, we've only had a few warm days, but yesterday it was you know it's sunny, but it was kind of chilly. But I think eventually spring will come sometime. So I'm gonna show you the old pig house. This used to be the pig house. I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but you probably saw it in some of my other videos, but. Here's some scrap uh, metal. When I, when I take my trailer that I'm talking about over there to the scrap yard, I'm going to throw all this in it too. Just a bunch of scrap I cleaned out of here. Here's some old, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, drag harrows, I guess. Use those for leveling out your ground. Anyways. In this building, I just use it for storage. But there was a fox family living in here. I don't know if they moved out or not, but last weekend I came in and there was a fox. Uh, underneath the floor here, there's kind of a hollow spot. And you used to have rabbits living under there. And I noticed last weekend a fox ran out the back underneath there and there you could hear baby foxes in here pups but i don't know if they moved out or what my dog she was she's been on their case for a while but i told them to leave. I, that's why i kind of wondered why i didn't see any rabbits around for the last couple of weeks i think the fox was having them for uh having some of the rabbits for breakfast or something because we had an awful population of rabbits, and like I said, I haven't saw one in two or three weeks. So, anyways, I use this for storage mostly. Got my canoe in here, and some old bicycles, and some lumber, scrap lumber from different projects. I just didn't want to throw away because the price of lumber right now is crazy. So there's just little cutoffs, like four up six by sixes and four by fours in some lumber but this used to be a pig house years ago before I moved here used to keep the pigs in here and now like I say it's just storage I got some siding up there and just different things I even have my old bicycle from when I was a kid I brought that home on from the farm there's a few thousand miles on that sucker. <laughs> that was my... I had a lot of fun in that old bicycle, eh? Didn't have the heart to throw it away, I guess, but... Then we got a couple fanning mills that I showed you on one of my videos last summer. They're just in storage in here. All kinds of goodies in here. We got an old snow blower, which I'm going to scrap. Uh, somebody give me that for parts for my snow blower. It's, it's almost identical to my snow blower, so I was using it for parts. But I th the engine seized in it, so I'm gonna. The only thing left on it, I might strip it down and take a few parts off that I could use on mine. There's an electric starter on it, and my electric starter is screwed up, so I might take that off, and then scrap the rest of it. And uh, this here I'm going to scrap too. It's a walk behind trimmer. You might have saw it in some of my other videos, but I'm not really sure what happened to it. I might try to take it apart in the motor, but it seized up for some reason. What I think happened was uh, the carburetor, the float stuck in it or something, and flooded the motor with gas, and I'm not really sure. Might play around with it sometime, but uh, someone gave me that years ago, so not like it owes me anything. But I mean, if I can fix it, I can. But it always leaked a bit of oil and stuff out of it. But so might look at a new one sometime. But anyways, that's a little tour of the shed, the old pig house. It's the only it's well. 
the last remaining original building from the farm here. So it's pretty old. Right behind the wood pile there is where the original barn used to be. But it was falling down so we got it tore down and cleaned up. So the old, like I said, the old pig house, that's the last, last original building from the farm. Anyways, guys. There's my dog. We better go away for a walk. You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Yeah, I know. It's exciting, isn't it? It's our favorite thing to do, besides eating. Going for walks. You gonna help me clean all the sawdust up or what? Eh? Are you gonna help me clean up the sawdust? Eh? You gonna help me clean up the sawdust? Eh? Maybe earn your keep? For all the food I buy you? Eh? And all the fun we have? Yeah, I know, it's exciting, isn't it? Okay, guys. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for all your support and, and uh, stay tuned.